R13A2 Hades Anchor Force upgrade. The R13A's wave cannon is upgraded. It boasts a superb balance of offensive and defensive capabilities. A well named craft. This is an upgrade. The Bounce Lightning Wave Cannon developed to cut energy loss. Bolts will reflect off surfaces without any power loss. The homing ability was included. And the Anchor Force. The Force's natural instinct to destroy is conveyed to the Talon Light Control Rod. This prompts it to greedily devour any object it comes in contact with. The Control Rod alone is insufficient to manage the vast amounts of vital energy. An additional control line is connecting to the fighter directly. This is an upgrade of the R-13, which was used in R-Type Delta. It includes the Anchor Force, which you can shoot out, and which will then grab onto an enemy and do continuous damage to them. Stage 3, Crazed Craft. Speaking of R-Type Delta, this is actually a take on, I think, Lethal Weapon from R-Type Delta. The stage is completed, is made, remade, very faithfully, all things considered. Complete with a fancy little camera angle. Considering it was the first stage of R-Type Delta, it is not a difficult stage. Though I love that you can see the scale between your ship and all the little vehicles down there on the ground. Interestingly, this almost doubles as a battleship stage. Just with this brief segment here. Still relatively easy. I'm taking out most of the cannons and whatnot. Some of them are around corners, though. So if you don't have a either a blue or a yellow or missiles or whatnot to take care of them, they can be a little bit awkward. But for the most part, it's not a difficult stage. Another minor battleship, but it's not too much of a threat, and you can get behind it in order to destroy it fairly quickly. This segment, I believe, actually changes very slightly from the original R-Type Delta, perhaps moving you up just a little bit more. I believe it was just changed to more fit with the sentiments of R-Type Final. You may remember our good friend, who is still right here, showing that foreground background business. I didn't necessarily want to grab yellow, but I was thinking it may be useful against the swath of small enemies in this stage. Uh, this force's yellow is really good when you're dealing with just an army of very tiny enemies. Not very good at single targets, though. But do not underestimate the power of your ship's Vulcan. This guy will continue to bother you until you've destroyed all of its segments in the middle. I think it leaves at some point, but I'm not sure when. The blue on this one is interesting because it acts like a forward-facing laser, but it has some minimal homing. And there's our boss. It would be a good idea to grab blue against this guy. Not blue, red against this guy. Starting out, of course, simply by destroying the cannons. That does not... or the engines. It does not negate the attack. 
but it does make them easier to dodge. It's got several different attacks, but none of them are a huge threat. You can stand in front of them and destroy them. You can actually destroy the cannons themselves shooting out, but the main target for actually killing the enemy is the big orb. And there we go! We did it! Good job. Or did we? R-Type Final 2 actually has you fight the boss a second time. The second time from behind. I really should have grabbed that red as the damage output from it is significantly more than the blue laser. Overall, though, still not terribly difficult. And even if you do have blue, its homing is taking out most of the... ...additions. But also, don't get lazy and just stand there when the laser fires. So with red, I'm actually trying to make a point of destroying the cannons so I don't have to worry about them firing anymore. You can destroy the bottom one. I believe you can destroy the top one. Yes. And then about the only attack you have to worry about is the big laser. This one doesn't even turn around. R9A4, Wave Master, last direct descendant, the last in the line developed from the first fighter used in the war against the Baido Empire, the legendary R9A. It is also equipped with the final version of the standard wave cannon with powerful armor-piercing capabilities, named the Wave Master as a result. Standard Wave Cannon 3 for Lupex. The secondary output of the standard Wave Cannon 2 is improved. It possesses the highest destructive power of its class. Standard Force DX. Energy efficient of the Standard Force was totally redesigned, and a 27% increase in laser output was achieved. And then the regular bits and missiles. This is simply an upgrade of the R9. About as much of an upgrade to the R9 as you will see without diving into something more unique. Which is fitting for stage four. A takeoff from Gigantic Warship from R Type 1. Something interesting they did in this is actually they made three different variations of this stage, three different aesthetics. You can see this weird, spory, poisony one here. And I let that bullet hit me on purpose, because I would like to show you the other aesthetics. The second one is this lava one. With a decent ship, this is not a terribly difficult stage, all things considered. And they actually give you more mobility than the original one in R-Type, making it even less dangerous than the original level. I remember as a child getting confused playing the first R-Type and thinking maybe I should go on top of the airship, but the battleship, but no, doing that just kills you. Whereas here, I don't think I ever would have come to that conclusion. Yellow is pretty good here, though I... because it will simply go along the bottom edge of the ship and destroy everything it can find but I've still found that I think red may be better. At least this ship's red. Yellow just doesn't have a lot of damage output, and the way the yellow actually goes forward some 
or backwards some before going forwards kind of messes things up. And interacting directly with the ship will kill you. And since this has been a relatively short video, let's go one more round in the third aesthetic. This time for realsies. This one... not quite the mushroomy aesthetic, but still... it's definitely underground, organic feeling. You can see the trees in the background, so still kind of poisony, but in a different way. I feel like this is probably my favorite aesthetic of the bunch, though I do quite enjoy the lava one as well. Of note, in all of these remix stages, the music has also been remixed. So you get to hear a new version of the music from all of these original stages, which is lovely. So those three cannons on the very front of the ship once destroyed will actually come back to the three underneath as well, but they won't be as big of a threat. So you of course do want to destroy them, but be aware that they won't be gone forever. I was very much hoping the camera would actually pan back there or something so I could fight that, but it was being disagreeable. Still trying to take out as many of the cannons as possible. Also trying to get my force on my front, so I can deal with the actual enemy. Though, in retrospect, a good wave cannon shot probably would have done the job. <laughs> 